In this recording, we'll be talking about cumulative distribution function of a discrete random variable. In order to explain that, we'll be using an example. We'll be finding out probability mass function for the same. We'll be defining what cumulative distribution function is. And finding that cumulative distribution function, not only that, we'll be drawing this cumulative distribution function. So please have a look at this video. So let me give you an example first, then I'll explain what exactly I mean by cumulative distribution function. So suppose I toss a coin twice. And uh, in those tosses, let's say X is capital X is a random variable. That's a discrete random variable. And capital X is the number of heads which are going to appear, right? So the range of X is what? It may appear, heads may appear in neither of the toss. It may appear once or it may appear twice, right? So the range of X is zero, one, two. Fair enough. Okay. So the probability, let me write the probability mass function first. So the probability that it will take the value zero is one by four. Why? Let me just write the conditions. Head, 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 tails, tail, head, tail, tail, right? All four events are equally likely. In this particular case, head is not going to appear. So this is one by four. In these two cases, this and this, head is appearing once. So one by four plus one by four, half. And capital X can take the value two in this particular case. And out of four cases, this case is appearing just once. So this is the probability is one by four. Fair enough. Now I want to answer the question. Suppose in this example, we wish to find out that for some fixed value of X, right? What is the probability that some observed value of capital X is going to be at most small x? So let me write this, suppose. For some fixed value of small x. What is the probability that the observed value of capital X will be at most small x, will be at most small x. So what I mean by this? So supposedly I take this small x as zero, right? And I ask that, uh, what is the probability that the value of this is going to be at most zero, right? So if I say, if x is less than zero, so when I write this, what is the probability that this random variable X would be less than equal to small X? When I write this, I mean small X. Hmm. What is that probability beta zero now? So how do you read this? The probability that this capital X is less than equal to small X. Small X is that value which you have fixed. So in our case, X less than zero. If X is, this I've already written. Okay. Supposedly, if I say small x greater than or equal to two, like this. Uh, uh, so what is the probability 
that the value of this capital X is less than equal is is less than equal to X small X. Uh, what is the probability that capital X would be equal to two? That is equal to one. Hmm. Here X small X is greater than equal to two. So you are finding out that probability. You are fixing the value of small X at at two. So what is the probability that capital X would be less than equal to two? That is one. So you, whether you say two, two point five, three, whatever, that value, that probability is going to be equal to one because at max the val capital X can take the value of capital X could be equal to two. Fair enough. If zero is less than equal to small x, is less than equal to not equal to not less than let's say one like this. So what is the probability that capital X will take the value less than equal to one, right? Can have the value at most one, can have the value at most one, but here you are not including one. So if you're not including one, this is also not going to come. It will be just equal to one by four. It will be just equal to one by four. Why? This is what px equals to zero. No. Okay. So if you say if one is less than equal to small x is less than e is less than two. <clears throat> so you fix like this. <clears throat> so in our case, what is going to be the case? Huh? In our case, what is going to be the case? So it will be PX equals to zero. This PX equals to one for this region. So it is not touching two. If it is not touching two, it can be at most one or zero. So you have included both of them. And that is going to be what? One by four plus half, which is three by four. Hmm. So every time what you are doing is that you are actually trying to find out here. What you have found out is actually the cumulative distribution function. And how do you know this? Hmm. So how do you write this? The cumulative distribution function. fx of a discrete random variable <clears throat> capital X with probability mass function px is defined for every number small x by f small x, which is equal to p capital X less than equal to small x. <clears throat> so for any small x, what is this f? small x telling you, this is telling you the probability that the observ observed value of this variable will be at most small x. Uh, for any small x, this fx is telling me that the maximum value, that the probability that the observed value of this random variable will be at most this small x. That is what it is telling me. Uh, so, if I just want to draw this, and this is what my, my CDF is, if I just want to draw I just want to draw this, <clears throat> this is X, this is FX. I can also write my CDF, why not? So you can just write this FX or whatever as this. So if X is less than zero, it is zero. 
for zero is less than equal to x le less than one. Uh, that is equal to one by four. One is less than equal to x less than two. That is three by four. And x greater than equal to two. That is one. So if I just want to draw this, this is going to be what? Here, small x can take which values? 0, 1, 2, 3, or whatever, right? And the probabilities are 1 by 4, half, 3 by 4, and 1. No? Mm -hmm. And then you have what? For x less than 0, it is like this. For x less than 0, it is like this. And I'm putting an open circle here. So this is not including 0. So all these values. Okay. For 0 is less than equal to x less than 1. So for all values between 0 to 1, the probability is 1 by 4. So it is including 0. So I'm putting this circle and not including 1. Uh, between 1 and 2, the probability is 3 by 4. So it is including 1, but not including 2, like this. And for all values greater than 2, it is going to be like this. Hmm. Like this. So this is also the uh, graphical representation of the cumulative distribution function. And you can also look at this, that the size of jump at each point is actually given by the probability at that particular point. Uh, so you can just write that as well. That is size of jump. Size of jump. at each point is equal to the probability at that point. Is equal to the probability at that point, right? So for example, at x equals to one, CDF has actually jumped from 1 by 4 to 3 by 4. So the size of jump is what? So at x equals to 1, CDF has gone from 1 by 4 to 3 by 4. So the jump is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4. That is equal to half. And that is what it is. Px equals to 1 equals to half. That is the probability of... Uh, of uh, of this function at x equals to one, right? Uh, so the size of the jump is equal to the probability at that particular point, right? So this is what I wanted to do in this recording. Thanks, Peter.